I'm Daniel, and welcome to my YouTube channel. We here at the channel are continuing in our series of videos with respect to uh, education, information, inspiration, guidance, advice. And a question um, came to me this summer. Um, an observation that some people, they, good, they do good deeds, they do mitzvahs, they do commandments, but they feel resentful about doing them. They do them like grudgingly. Or they're upset or disappointed and they're not, they don't have the right um, attitude. So the question was, what's the major difference in attitude that determines whether a person will feel good, will feel happy, or have negative feelings when doing, a, in a pedestrian terms, a good deed or technically a mitzvah, a commandment from God? So I turn, as I so often do, to uh, Rabbi Moshe Feinstein, one of the greatest uh, um, opinion uh, writers of um, recent memory, El Vashalom, um, and he writes as follows. The Torah, this was in uh, Devarim, in the book of Deuteronomy, um, chapter 30, verse 19, tells us to choose life. If a person feels that he is losing money or missing some other pleasure because of the mitzvahs, the commandments that he's doing, he's going to suffer when he performs these mitzvahs. If he's giving money to charity and all he thinks about is the money that he could be spending on, on whatever, he's not going to be happy. But if a person realizes that they are choosing life when they perform mitzvahs, when they perform commandments, they will feel joy. So develop this attitude, says Rabbi Moshe Feinstein, develop this attitude towards all the good that you do. Similarly, and this is very, very important, when we speak to our children, it's very wrong to give them the impression that they are somehow losing out um, in this world by fulfilling the mitzvahs, by doing uh, commandments but they are nevertheless obligated to fill them. He says, yeah, I know, it's a big pain. You, you, know, you, you, you want to be going playing on Saturday morning, but you know, you got to go to shul, and that's the way it is. Wrong attitude. But Moshe Feinstein says it is harmful to our children to view mitzvah observance as a difficult sacrifice. Not everyone will be strong enough to make such sacrifices. The proper approach when talking to our children about fulfilling the commandments of the Torah is to stress the, uh, that the Almighty's giving us the Torah is the greatest possible gift. There is immense pleasure and fulfillment to be derived, even in this world, from studying the Torah, observing mitzvahs, you know, giving to charity, helping people. The, there is no loss at all for following the Torah, since the emotional benefits can be so great, even apart from any external benefits in the afterlife. In other words, in addition to whatever you're going to get the Noel Mabo in the world to come, it can give you great pleasure in this life. If you give money to charity, knowing that that money is going to a worthy cause, if you give money to yeshiva, knowing you're supporting a great institute of uh, Torah knowledge, if uh, you give money so that uh, poor young ladies can have uh, a, decent, uh, a decent wedding. Simple little things. Donate money so that, so that community can, can build its first mikvah. Uh, don't view it as a chore. View it as a joy. And you are giving, and from that, let that be a source of enjoyment. Let that be a source of pleasure. If you're going to get nachis, if you're going to get some pride, Get it from that. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please share. I hope you're finding some these of some uh, inspiration to you. Um, we're going to be doing more videos. Until, until next time, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.